Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 152 maximum product subarray. So given an integer array nums, find the contiguous subarray within an array, then containing at least one number which has the largest uh, product. So the example one is having input array two, three, negative two, four. Then you would have two and three as a subarray that at the maximum product is six. Here's zero individual one, so you can have individual one. And the idea of this question is, you go through the whole entire array and you see you have the maximum or minimum right here. How do we calculate product? So we have two here and we multiply by three. So we have six and uh, multiply uh, so six right now is current maximum. And if six multiplied by negative two, we will negative 12. So that is not good. So we don't care about that one. And negative 12 right now, time uh, negative four. So it wouldn't uh, work. So it's like a negative big number. But um, we also have the minimum number when it turned to uh, let's take that look. Take a look at this array right here. Now we have six sort right here, and we also have twelve, negative twelve. So the maximum at this place is six, and the minimum at this place is twelve. So in case we can keep looping this one. And we we'll see even with times four, it will be negative 48. The idea is if this is, we have to keep track of a neck, the minimum number, because in case we see a negative right here, so we will have to see because this time this will be a positive 48. So we have to, time this one with the maximum number and minimum number to see which one is bigger. So uh, if the bigger one will get updated to the maximum output. So that's the idea of this question. Um, let's see, comment this out. And let's take a look at this code. I mean, first we have integer max equal to nums. We start min and max in the same number, which is the first number of the array. So we have in output equal to max, current max right now. So we have a for loop started with i equal to one, because we're skipping, we already know the maximum and minimum for the first place. Um, we started with the second number to the end of the array. So i is less than nums dot length and i is plus plus. So now we look through the entire uh, array. And what we can do is capture the previous max. We have the max right now. So we have previous max right now. And now we have to update the max equal to mat dot max. And we'll have current number uh, we can have current number is equal to nums dot i. So it's current number. Um, could could it could be an individual number? So we have to check if the current number is the maximum. Could it, it could be either either bigger than maximum already by itself? So we don't need to type anything. The max will be either current or the maximum of current number time um, previous max or current number time min. This is what we do in here for this row. We have this one, we have to check current number time, previous max and current number time, previous, previous 
minimum to get to the maximum. So the maximum get updated. Now we update the minimums equal to current dot min. We have current and also it's really similar to the upper one. So we have current time pre max current time min and you have the minimum also updated at the end we have the current location max right now we have to check output always keep track on output that have the maximum uh, product and now now you have the output that contain the maximum products subarray uh let's see what's oh, okay this no syntax error and cool and that's it for this question i believe <laughs> yeah uh, it's kind of straightforward to the logic and just, we just need to type it out. If you have any question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.